Harden and Dort, Eric Gordon and Chris Paul, and down the lane, Gallinari wide open. And a little mystical going to the rim. When you look at his three-point shooting here in the bubble, he's only been shooting 19.5% from behind the arc, so there's no surprise he's trying to get to the rim. He has an opportunity now to exploit the defense, get himself inside, and still be a, a contributor on offense inside the paint. Chris Paul coming up with a steal. Two on one with Dort. Lob, and he missed the hammer. Ben McLemore is in for Eric Gordon. Bounds the miss and puts it in. Yeah, the legend of Lou Dort is building as mm. Chris Paul. Speaking Beautiful mid-range. <laughs> There was a lot of conversation for the Rockets saying, man, Lou Dort played all this great defense. Didn't Harden have 38? Yeah. Harden's got 15 already. And that foul is Chris Paul probing. And Schroeder, the open three. Perfect. But you this quarter. OKC would like the tie or more. Chris Paul at two. Chris Paul for the lead. And that will do it at the end of one. Look at the international flavor of the NBA. Schroeder's from Germany, Gilgis Alexander, Canada, New Zealand for Stevie Adams right on cue, and Chris Harden had picked up the dribble. Chris Paul <laughs> bothering him. Somebody go get a foul. Yeah, I knew it. Well, I knew it was coming. Former teammates. Here got picked. Ferguson took it from him. And Chris Paul flipping it up and in. Crafty. Beautiful use of using Steven Adams to buffer the defender to get around. Squeeze that pill and for House two. for three. Another long rebound. Chris Paul, final minute here of the first half, even at 58. Gildas Alexander left it short, tipped up and in. But what is it? They get about closing out the half. Strong in OKC, trying to add a little bit more to it. There's the former teammates, Paul and Harden. Harden oh. went for the reach. Harden with the take. Harden with a breakout and finish. Harden with three. Back to Jeff Green, rimming that out. And probably appropriately so. Three, but denied at the iron. Chris Paul, Lou Dort. Danilo Gallinari, Gilgis Alexander, and Steven Adams. Now, Chris Paul only had four in the first half. Point land in the series. Yeah, it's funny. Dort had confidence early. Now he's missing. Eric Gordon came in struggling, but now he's not getting shots. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Chris Paul down the lane. Oh, man. Yeah, 25 on 8 of 13, 5 of 7. Chris Paul off back iron. Gordon rebound in motion. Is he that whether they're making or missing it? as that's an integral part of their offense so Chris Paul lurking in the passing lane we got away with a little travel right there Chris Paul <laughs> shuffled his feet he'll just Alexander took a little bump Gallinari from deep so OKC is cooled off from the three-point line tonight for the Rockets Seven of seven as Chris Paul finally ends the skid. That was an 11 nothing run. 4% as a team during the year. They, they make up for it in volume. And Chris Paul answers right back. Houston. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Harden to kind of back Dort down. Even though he's the younger player, he may be the stronger player. Plus he has lower body. And speaking Man. of lower body, Chris Paul jump shot. Again, off a made basket, mm -mm. a run back layup by Daniel House. Yeah. Chris Paul will be called oh. for the offensive foul. And P.J. Tucker hanging there right now. Yep. Little run here to end the third, kind of what we saw with them, what? the Thunder right before halftime. And that's when Harden was sitting. And Noel batting that back out. Chris Paul flipping it up and in. The so that situation, you know, masterfully through the whole time. Speaks volumes of the young man that he is. And speaking of steals, Chris Paul with the theft. Baisley mm -mm. got to head down mm -mm. the lane and miss fire there. But Stephanie, Chris Paul had about seven. It was not just that he had, was an excellent leader, but that he had an unbelievable ability to compartmentalize. He obviously had his family to tend to during the quarantine. And of course, the president's role with the Players Association. And as you mentioned, we would not be here in this bubble if it were not for the efforts of Chris Paul, along with Adam Silver and Michelle Roberts.
Well, the Rockets led by 15. It's down to four as Noel guides it home. About a four second game shot clock. This is an 18-7 OKC run. Harden, step back three is flat. Chris Paul with the rebound. Three seconds to work with. At one, Schroeder to end the quarter. Good! Kick. Robert Covington hitting a three to open Houston scoring. Chris Paul had 14 in the third, misses the runner there. Clutch points, and he's got it now. Up one with 417 left. Now a little zone defense right here, but the hand is down that time. Got away with it by James Hart to give Houston the lead. Gilgis Alexander with that four-point swing and the ricochet, and Chris Paul commits the foul. So instead of two free throws, one. And he was ready to kind of catch and shoot. The lost possession right there for the Rockets. Chris Paul gets around Harden all the way to the rim. We begins to finish this one off. Chris Paul, mid-range jumper. And Schroeder's got Harden on the switch. It's not Dort this time. And Harden down the lane. No calls. He spilled. Chris Paul pushing. One point lead for OKC. Schroeder drops it inside. And he's you have a foul. Single possession game with 30 seconds left. Kick out Tucker, his favorite spot. Missed the three. And the Rockets shooting woes from distance continue. Yeah, but the Rockets got a foul right here because the time difference between the shot clock and game clock is only. And getting it inbounded. Chris Paul is a good choice. He's just going to hold on to it and still hold on to it. And then fouled with 1.3.